I should consider getting a car mount. So I just got back from the gym and while I was at the gym, I ran to my good pal, Billy Kay. And for those of you who don't know, he's a, I always say he's my friend that used to be really fat and got really, really fit. So usually when I'm back home, I'll hit up Billy like, hey, you know, I haven't spoken to you in a while. Let's hang out, let's catch up doing like some form of cardio, like a treadmill, Stairmaster. And um, yeah, so while we were talking and he was telling me like, oh, hey, I'm doing a talk today at a middle school near, near your house. You should come hang out. So I guess I'm going to be speaking today at a middle school, which means I need to shower and get out of gym clothes. I think I need a haircut. There's also one more thing I want to address with this camera that I'm starting to use. It's the GX7. And there's one thing I don't like about it, which I kind of noticed from Casey Neistat's vlog about the S90 a long time ago, and it's the microphone placement. Usually I talk to myself like this. I'm not using my big camera because this little guy here makes it so I can stay in focus relatively. So if I hold it like this with my hand, where this is pinching the camera body, Sometimes I'll accidentally cover the microphone. If I do this, you can't hear me. If I don't cover mic, then it sounds perfectly fine and perfectly normal. Microphone is right up here. See? I covered the mic. Probably can't hear me. Now, you can hear me. Let me go fix this issue. This is my dad's home office. And for those of you who know how I love to label stuff, is kind of where I get it from. So what I need is going to be right here. Sorry. These little cheap things probably could work if I cut it in half. So the mic is right here, and I'm just going to add these little plastic rubber stoppers up here and right here. There is no possible way for me now to block that microphone. Cool, let's test this out now. So, finger covered. Can you guys still hear me? I'm pretty sure you can still hear me. Not covered. There shouldn't be a change unless you hear my finger tap in the camera. This should be pretty fun. I'm now going to head over to Warner Middle School where my buddy Billy Kay and his friend Andy from I'm King are going to talk to some kids about chasing their passions and I think they want me to talk a little bit about doing photography with them. I have not been back to a middle school in a long time. Ah, I found Billy. All right, we're here. What's up, guys? We're here on campus. You know, we got a small group going. Uh, this is our Passion Chasers and After School program. And uh, what we do with this is we try to help kids align their goals and actually taking action and learning how to accomplish them. So Melly, today is our guest speaker, and we're gonna do this. This week is week four. Did you know how we talk about this little five step process thing? Mm -hmm. And mind you, there's a YouTube video that I made that talks about the five steps that we learned. Um, first one is goals. At least you have to have goals to you know, know what you're working on. Two is having a plan. Third one is taking action. Kind of like, well, did you do the things that you said you're gonna do? And some of you did a great job doing it, continue practicing basketball. Uh, waiting for something to come up pretty soon here. But then again, that comes along with making some goals that are small and measurable. Step four is checks and balances. Uh, checks and balances a little it's easy and hard. It's, do you guys know what checks and balances mean? No. Checks and balances is basically checking yourself to make sure what you did is leading you towards your goals. This is Mally Lee, really creative, and she has an incredible history in terms of like shooting some really different people that I mean personally, you know, I can never meet. And some of the image that we see. When I look at these images, I think of like what what inspired you to take that picture? Yeah, so pretty, how'd that go? It was pretty fun. Back in school again, I get to hang with the cool kids. Yep. Right. Not us. Uh, you spoke for 30 minutes, just to let you know. That was like 30, 35 minutes. So. 
Yes. Killed it. I'm not boring. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. So what exactly is this program? Right? Do you come here every single week? Or are you going to a different school? Yeah, it's still really new to us. You know, the kids kind of started asking for it. Um, they want us to come every week and teach them lessons about um, really about business and how they can apply your, apply themselves into, in school, in school and in life. Every Wednesday. So every Wednesday we come here, have our free time, um, and do this with kids.